What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get more flow out of your FX6 filters. So I've got my two heads on my FX6 filter there, and I've got two other heads over there, which is the other outlets for the other FX6s. But I'm gonna show you a really quick, easy thing to get more flow out of these filters. So we've got to do a water change in this tank tonight. I'm doing a 6 spent water change, so it's like uh, 1,200 liters coming out of here. And I've also got to, um, Clean out one of the FXCs, I've got to clean out this one here. So we'll put it out into the garden. I'll show you how dirty this is after six weeks. So stay tuned, man. Okay, so first things first, we'll start draining some of the water out of this tank. Obviously, I'm going to be using the uh, tank water to clean my filter, all the sponges, uh, bits like that in the filter. So let's start draining some water out of the tank. And get these terriers out of the way. Okay, so my FX6s, I clean, um, I clean them every six weeks. So it's like for two weeks, I clean one, two weeks, I clean one, and then so on. So tonight, I do like a rotor as well, so you can sort of see what's got to be done. I don't know if you can see on there. So tonight, I've got to do my right one, which is here. So that was done on the 8th of December, which, um, what we're today? We're January, what we're January the 20th today, aren't we? Like 19th. So, 19th, so yeah, so six weeks away. But anyway, let's get um, the fit all, all unplugged and I'll get it out in the garden and show how dirty it is. Okay everyone, so we're outside now. The water is draining out of the tank round here into my bucket, which I use to uh, clean my sponges. I'll show you in a minute. But let's, um, let's undo this FX6. I'll show you how dirty it is after six weeks. Okay, that's how dirty the FX6 is after six weeks. There's my filter floss in there. You can see that it's keeping my uh, ceramic rings really clean. So I could probably get another couple of weeks out of this if I wanted to really, but um, I'm so anal about this sort of stuff and I clean them every six weeks and I never have any problems. So this is just how I do it. So that's obviously needs clean. Like, I'll just throw these sponges straight in that bucket in a minute. There's the actual filter. So let's empty this filter quickly. Also, a quick tip for getting inside these pipes, just use a sponge, uh, sponge, toothbrush. Just put it in there like that. Give it a good old clean up. Gets the pipe nice and clean. And the same with the pipe in the actual filter as well. Okay, so that's the filter all clean now. I've cleaned the head and all sorts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll show you how dirty these sponges when I put them in this bucket. Look, that is just literally from two sponges. I'll show you the sponges. So that's what it looked like before. Absolutely disgusting. Look at that filth floss, man. Filth. That's what it looked like after. So just literally rinse them out. Um, doing it this way as well with your dirty tank water wouldn't actually kill any of your beneficial bacteria. So it's a really good way of doing it. And um, you're actually using dirty water out of your tank, which you're literally pouring down there, which you're gonna throw away anyway. So it's recycling at the same time. That's the way I look at it anyway. But anyway, let's get this uh, FX6 clean get some of the tank water drained down and then I can show you what I'm going to do with the FX6s. Okay, so we're back in from the cold now. Um, I had to wear my, uh, my G-Lay because uh, obviously I'm cleaning out the filter. I don't want to get um, long sleeves all covered in water. But anyway, the filter's all cleaned out. Let me just show you. So there's the FX6, all locked and loaded, ready to go. New um, filter floss put in there. Help um, doing all the polishing, polishing for your water. Uh, cleaned all the sponges out as you've seen. So yeah, that's really bang on. But um, Obviously draining the water out of the tank now, what we've changed that took out so far, probably 20, 15 percent. But what I want to do now is put another piping on, start draining the tank out a bit quicker, get all the lights, everything turned off, and then um, yeah, I'll show you what else we're gonna do. 
Okay, so I'm just doing the before and after now. So that's the flow of an FX6 normally. As you can see, both the heads. That's the one I've actually just cleaned out, so it's probably going to have a bit more flow than the others. And there's the other two over there. So we'll do like a bit of a before and after for you and see what we all reckon. So let's get on. This is draining now. I've got two of the pythons in here. That FX6 is back plugged in. I'm going to turn everything off now, get this tank all cleaned up, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the heads. Okay, so that's um, most of the water drained out of the tank now. I'm going to let it go a little bit further. I'm probably going to do like a, a 65, 70% water change, so I'm going to do a really big one because I've mixed up all the gravel, got any debris out of it as well. So, But anyway, I have put one of the filter heads on. It's really hard to see at the moment because um, the moisture in the tank, but there's one of them over there. So here's the old head I've took off here. So obviously the FX6 normally comes with these these little twin head things and then we've put a single head one on there which is going to create a massive amount of flow so anyway um while this is filling up what i gonna do i'm going to go upstairs with a hairdryer and i'm going to show you how you can make it yourself right okay so we're upstairs in my house at the moment i've gone into this bedroom because this is where i keep my baby's hair dryer which i use to hair dry them every night but anyway what you're going to need now obviously this is the old fx6 um pipe here as you can see look at the state of it man so what you're going to need is the original gasket which I've got there. So there's the old one. There's your original gasket, which you can buy off eBay, Amazon, or whatever like that. You could probably go to a plumbing, plumbing shop, like Plum Base or something, and they'll be able to give you a gasket, which will fit. But um, I knew these were gonna fit, and I was being lazy. I got them delivered to my house, so I didn't have to mess about. And then what you're gonna have to get now is a PVC elbow, like this. So you can get it in gray, you can get it in black, you can get it in white, whatever color you like. And then what, this size, what size this has gotta be is three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch, so is like uh, 30 millimeters, something like that, as you can see on the tape. Let me zoom in for you a bit. Zoom in, so it's like 30 millimeters, something like that, so three centimeters. So it's basically, I think they actually measure, obviously the diameter of the actual, the hole itself. So yeah, three quarters of an inch, that's what I've got here anyway, um, which is 30 centimeters. So that's the pipe ready to go. And I just need to put the gasket on this one now and heat this up. So you don't heat this bit up. So you think it'd be the bigger bit you heat up and put on, you don't. That bit goes on the pipe, which is coming in the tank. You actually heat the smaller pipe up, which actually fits inside this pipe at the moment. As you can see, you're gonna heat this up with the hairdryer now and stretch it around the pipe. It sounds bizarre, but heat does wonders with uh, gaskets and stuff. Don't use a heat gun because you will just melt this. Heat guns get too hot. Hair dryers get to the right temperature. So let's get this heated up and we put it on. Right, I warn you now, this is not easy. You see how much I've got it over the pipe already. So you need to get it really hot and then just basically squeeze it on with your thumbs. It does. It does take a while, but then you know this is nice and tight for your, um, your fish tank. You're not going to get any leaks through it. It's going to be under loads of pressure, so you're going to get more flow in your tank. Right, there we go. I'm well happy with that. So that's the gasket around the, uh, the 90 degrees elbow, ready to literally pop on your tank. So there's the original one. And there's the new one, so you're gonna get loads more flow out of there. Obviously, it's the same size diameter and pipe, but it's going into one pipe, and um, it just it's gonna look tidier in the tank as well. It's gonna basically look like um, like my sump downstairs, it's got one outlet, which um, it's just nice and tidy. You haven't got all these two pipes inside your tank and stuff like that, but anyway, the tank's filling up downstairs now, so let's pop downstairs and uh, we can have a go and see how much po uh, more flow we're gonna get. Okay, so I've got this filter header on here, I've got one on here, and I've left the, other, the old FX6 filter header on here so we can compare the flow. So let's turn them on. Sorry about all the noise, I've got my little boy in the background tearing about on his little car. Hello. Hello! This is probably a better view. So there's one of the heads on its own at the moment. Look, that is well powerful, isn't it? So that's chucking out a lot more flow than them original heads. Let's turn my wave pump on and show you how powerful this is as well. So 
Got a wave pump here. It's only on to like 10% at the moment. Look how much water that's chucking out as well. So I've got my FX6 head there. I've got my wave pump here. There's so much flow in this tank going on, man. I'm gonna change these, um, quickly change this one over there. And then there, this tank's got tons and tons of flow. Okay, so they're all set. You see how much flow's come out of that outlet there, look. So there is definitely a lot more flow. Look how much, look how far it's coming out this way as well. Focusing that well. But yeah, well pleased with the result. So there's definitely a lot more flow coming out of them out there. So look at that one there, look. So this little, this one here is, I think the filter needs a clean. It's the next one to do on the list in a couple of weeks time. So obviously it's gonna have a little bit less flow than the others because obviously they got clean sponges, clean uh, filter floss, etc., etc. But um, yeah, definitely well pleased with the outcome. Really pleased with how flush it looks and stuff like that. Just want to do a bit of a shout out who um, the bloke who actually told me to do it. It's a bloke I follow on Instagram. He's got um, he's called Piranhas with Attitude. So go and follow his page if you're not following him. He's actually the one who messaged me because every now and then I do like a sort of a story on Instagram, show off the tank with um, the filters and FX6, all that sort of stuff on it. And he sort of said to me, "Oh, you need to try what I've done on mine. I'm getting a lot more flow of it." And um, do you know what? It's made such a difference. So yeah. It's, this wasn't really my idea, but um, it's worked really well and I wanted to do a video on it. So yeah, thanks, thanks for that, man. Okay, so all the heads are changed now, as, I, as you've seen on the, on the video just before. Just wanted to show you what it looks like once all the tank's completely full. You can see how much flow is coming out of that head there. It's creating loads and loads of flow. So the outlets are completely different now. I've changed the outlet completely. So look how much flow is coming out of there, man. Well pleased with the outcome. Just looks so much neater. And do you know what, the gray, matches the um the fluvial heaters and stuff as well look at look at the flow look i know we've got a wave pump there as well but look how much sort of debris and that's getting chucked about absolute massive uh, massive improvement this is so anyone else that's got a um fx6 out there or even an fx4 you could do the same thing on that as well because they've got the twin head as well aren't they so and you're looking for a sleeker design with more flow yeah this is the way to do it man anyway um thanks for watching as always uh like and subscribe to the channel and um, keep it real everyone.